Hello crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the voice, I've got a bit of a cold. Today we're gonna play with uh, some more of the um, Deluxe Kabudu kit from Spellbinders. I'm gonna use the clear stamp of the month, story, uh, story time gnomes, gnomes, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna use all of them for three different cards. And uh, of course, the <laughs> the coordinated dies because they're there so why not i'm also gonna create some background with my uh, stencil of the month it's called dynamic backgrounds and that's what i'm gonna do create backgrounds <laughs> and i will also use the 3d embossing folder of this month march 2024 by the way and it's really really nice Oh, I forgot, I'm going to use this little arch die. Um, I purchased uh, my arch dies online in Amazon, I think, so I will link that below. And now let's start it. I'm going to start create my background using uh, a watercolor cardstock. I'm kind of obsessed with watercolor cardstock. I love the way they blend the ink and the texture so even if it's not really <laughs> i'm not really do any watercolor i i think is the color be blend better on it so i'm just gonna start with um, one of the stencil uh, and uh, i'm gonna just apply simple coloring in it so i'm gonna just apply a layer of um Mermaid Lagoon starting from the center but I'm gonna try to keep it not a, a bit light because it's, um, it's quite a saturated color so I'm just gonna try to go light not too strong because I want a bit of a contrast with the other color that I'm gonna use so today is uh, the beginning of uh, the Holy Week. I don't know if you're religious or not, but um, it's called Domenica delle Palme in in Italian. <laughs> we just usually have a party, but I'm not in Italy. I'm in London, so it's just a Sunday, <laughs> a Sunday of craft. It's been a busy week, so it's nice to relax and craft. So I, I use my fantastic waffle flower uh, grip mat. I don't know how I survived before without it, because I really love it. So I keep my stamp and I'm mean, sorry, my paper and my stencil in place without do any anything. <laughs> now this one I'm going a bit stronger as a color. I want it to be more saturated. So I'm just gonna. Again, go apply. This one has got just two line distancels, so it's a bit faster. It's a beautiful color. I think it's between this and um, Picket Raspberry. Those two are my favorite. And Wild Honey as well, I think I like. Okay, so let's have a look. I think it's better to, yeah do this <laughs> lift up a little bit my waffle flower and bend it a little bit you make it easier to take off the paper yeah they come out quite nice so i'm just gonna clean my mat and uh, i'm using a just a simple uh, wet wipes but when you clean the mat it lose the stickness so what you need to, when it's wet sorry so you need to kind of dry off if you want to Use it straight away so i'm gonna use just a, a cloth that i've got in my microfiber cloth that i got in my drawer and now it should be again sticky enough to attach my paper so the second panel they are cut slightly smaller than an a4 size so they are uh, four by five and a quarter for this one as well, I'm going to use just two colors. I'm starting with um, warm lipstick. That is a very nice warm pink. I'm going to tuck in my stencil. 
and I'm using a large brush and again I'm not pressing too much I'm gonna go very lightly this is a, a second stencil that I really really like it's um, just a simple stripe that looks like um, uncut you know they're not straight lines and they give it this lovely uh, painted effect let's say so once I apply a layer of uh, one lipstick I'm just gonna remove my stencil and I'm gonna apply it again but uh, um, what do you call it on the, <laughs> on the other direction <laughs> just to get um, basically a pl plat effect plate effect plat sorry I sometimes I find difficult to find the words anyway for the second layer I'm using a picket raspberry and I'm going way much more stronger I should have should I go this stronger? I regret it to go too stronger. Should I stay in like a, a la lighter layer? Because, um, I mean, it comes out nice, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, I think I would have preferred a bit lighter. Anyway, just gonna go all over. But I'm not reaching the bottom part because I wanna extend, after that, I wanna extend my stencil to go you know to go all the way to the bottom of the card so just gonna lift it up and then I'm just gonna move it a bit further down and try to match more or less the line I mean, you can't it can't be perfect because they are as I said they're not straight lines so they will be different but uh, it's not visible so it came out quite nice. Now the reveal. I think it came out lovely. <laughs> I really like it. It's a bit stronger color than I wanted, but it's still very, very nice. And now my final panel. That again, I'm going to put on my mat, center it there. I'm going to use the same stencil, I give it a clean of course and this time I'm going to do something a bit more uh, dif different I'm just going to create a little rainbow using my brushes that got already colored on it as a first color I'm using yellow and uh, I'm not adding any extra color it's just uh, whatever is left on my brush and second one is spice marmalade you can't see it much unfortunately because the sun, sun came out and uh, i didn't realize that it was bleaching my my video basically the lighting is a bit too strong now but i realized too late sorry uh so anyway the spice marmalade that is still just in my brush did it add anything third one is red and I believe is candied apple and again very light I mean it looks very lightly but um, I like it this gonna it's gonna come out nice I promise <laughs> uh, four color of course is the rasp um, picked raspberry so a nice bright pink and uh, big on the fourth color I want to do will it um, a purple that I think is uh, I don't remember the name of the purple but uh, I've got a big brush that means I need to protect the rest of the line and uh, again very lightly this color has been more saturated so I need to be careful not to press too much sorry about my head I think I left a bit white <laughs> I couldn't place it properly and that's it I think it's done now very carefully I remove the protection 
and keep my stencil in place there. Now I start with the blue, that is dark blue, that is, I think is uh, sketched, uh, gosh I don't remember, I'm gonna link um, on the list below the color that I think I used. <laughs> this one is definitely pick a raspberry, um, a peacock feather that you can see very silly I, I realized I was because um, I just use it so it's very very strong the color on it so it's gonna be a stronger line and then I went from this teal color to uh, green that is uh, low mowed mowed low one of the two <laughs> Again, this one, it, I don't have it as uh, oxide, so it's a simple distress ink. <coughs> you can see the black brushes. And there's the last color is Twisted Citron. There we go. Now, let's see what it looks like. I love the reveal stands. And that's it. Oh, it came out really, really nice. Absolutely love it. Now you can't see much, unfortunately, with this light, but um, on the picture at the end you will see better. Now I've got this uh, three arches cut out again from the same type of paper, watercolor, and now I'm just gonna emboss them together with my 3D embossing folder of the month. It's called. Uh, Oh gosh, I don't remember. Again, I'm gonna list it, sorry. So they will fit all of them inside my my big embossing folder. Just gonna line it up a little bit to have more or less the same uh, sort of placement for the dots. And I spray, you didn't see me, my, I missed a little water on it. Uh, and now I'm dry drying up. Missed it directly on my on the embossing folder, and I'm just gonna bring my platinum six. Uh, you can see it's got some uh, tape attached. My little bits of um, washi tape that I used to help me keeping the dies in place. I used the recommended uh, sandwich for the three D embossing folder. That is the just the base, the embossing folder and the adapter plate. And now let's have a look at the result. I love I love this embossing folder, really nice. Yeah, they come out great. Let me see if I can show you a bit uh, on a close up. I need to change the camera <laughs> focus because at the moment it's fixed. And there you go. I think it's lovely. It's gorgeous. What do you think? I really like. Now, I'm really sorry, but I lost, I mean, I delete by accident my coloring bits. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. But, um, so they're very color, they color very simple with the copy markers. So you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Now I'm just going to pop up my um, arch that is going to go behind my uh, gnomes. So I'm just going to put some uh, double side foam tape, uh, just for a stri strip like that. And I'm just going to attach it to my cap uh, panel. Now I'm... Um, I don't remember when I purchased this one, this foam tape, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got it quite for a while now. But it's not particularly sticky, so probably nothing that I would really recommend. There you go. And now I'm just gonna pop up my little gnome as well and my sentiment. And this time I'm gonna use... Um, foam squares those are from uh, spellbinders so they're not um, those ones they're not very dimensional 
but um, just the right amount to to give a bit of shadow to my loom so is enough and is perfect actually and the release paper come out really easily so I'm just gonna position my gnome to be slightly out of the of the panel I mean the, the emboss little arch and I'm gonna do the same things with um, with my sentiment and because half of it is gonna be out I'm just gonna uh, double up two of the foam square so we stay flush on the card one and two there you go those sentiments are um, basically matching the images from the same kit this one said no doubt no doubt uh, you books and coffee are my favorite or oh, you coffee and book books books are my favorite so this one could be for a friendship uh, love card now for the second one i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna pop it up a bit and I'm gonna position it this time I'm just gonna center it there you go my little gnome that read reading a book that's quite sweet and uh, yeah this time I'm gonna put the sentiment slightly on the right and the gnome slightly on the left yeah I think it will work so again double uh, some foam tape at the back so another couple of uh, foam square I usually don't buy gnome stamps or um, you know was I don't know why because <laughs> I have to admit I had a lot of fun color them and they are very cute but I don't know so this um, sentiment said uh, make this birthday one for the books I think it's really nice uh, I am an avid reader so I do love books so this uh, kit is right up my alley now I'm just gonna uh, remove the release paper from my tape and I'm gonna attach the panel the emboss panel on the left hand side again I'm gonna put the <laughs> gnome slightly off uh, slightly outside of my little panel and I run out of big um, foam square <laughs> I'm sad I'm gonna finish up with the small ones There you go, just a touch there in the center. I think it looks really nice. And this is a long, thin sentiment, so I'm using a foam strip. And I double up on one side so they stick flush on the card. I think it's straight, I'm not sure. There you go, now it's straight. Okay, last things to do is just uh, uh, glue my panels to the card. I attach already the other two, this is the last one. And I'm using simple glue with my squeeze bottle. There we go. And now I'm just gonna try to center it in my card. It's an A2 card, so it's leave a slightly, um, I mean, slightly, a thin borders around, white borders. I think this, it finished the card nicely. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for uh, sticking up with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed the card, and uh, if you do, 
please uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up it's really help and if you want to comment which tell me which one is your favorite or if i should have done something different in one of them please let me know i really appreciate your feedback thank you so much again have a lovely uh, sunday and uh, hopefully a wonderful easter bye